All In Broadcasting presents the Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships. And now it's game time. The Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships are on the air from All In Broadcasting. Hello everyone and welcome to Arundel High School as we are here for the 2007 Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships. The 70 pounders are out there on the field as we pick up action. It's a 21 to nothing Gork over Upper Queen Anne's. And it is Gork kicking off. As Joshua Brennan with the kickoff. It'll be short. Taken by one of the up backs or dropped by one of the up backs and went into the knees of the up back right around the 46 yard line. Make that the 44. It was Charles Henson that was able to fall on it. So right now, Upper Queen Anne's, as we refer to as UQA right now, will. Was looking for an answer. Two tights man comes in motion. There's a snap. Coming back, turning a corner, crossing midfield, cutting back up against the grain, still up on his feet. Going down the sideline, 40. To the 37 yard line is number six, Jacob Naylor. Well, both of these teams coming into this playoff are undefeated. Gork at 10-0 and, and Upper Queen Anne's at 9-0. Quarterback number three, Justin Cummings, setting up over center. Two tight end sets. It's going to be a sneak by Cummings. Up on his feet. Now to the 25, to the 20, to the 15. Finally dragged down from behind, just outside the 10-yard line of the 11. A touchdown saving tackle by Joshua Brennan. A cool overcast day here at Carroll Field. And both of these teams, uh, and right now, Upper Queen Anne doing a good job of working the run. Certainly made some adjustments there with the sneak. Again, it's Cummings. Set up over center. Man comes in motion. Snap. Going to the back and the back and getting wrapped up, dropped for a loss. So that once again, the carry by Jacob Naylor. Uh, they give him a loss of about one and a half. It'd be second down and 12 now. With the ball right about the 14 yard line. There's Cummings. Looks back at his backs. Sets up again over center. Man comes in motion near side. And off again. Going off a right tackle. Down to the five. Touchdown, UQA. It'll be Jacob Naylor, and there UKA showed a little bit of uh, misdirection on that. And so upcoming now, the extra point attempt. Comes again, setting up over center. And on the sneak. You know, ball down on the ground, and it will be obviously negated. Recovered by Upper Queen Anne, but 
That leads the score 21 to 6 now as we're in the first half. Gork leads this 70 pound championship. Well, up a Queen Anne in those light of a hue, a, a goldish hue to the green with the green numbers. Gork, the designated home team here in those green uniforms. We have the golden pants and golden numbers as well. The head coach of this Gork squad is Richard Bullock, Jr., Charles Henson will be kicking off. And the kick is away. It's going to be an onside kick over to the left side, but picked up by one of the upbacks. Issues, as it were, for Upper Queen Anne's is stopping this Gork squad. And here we go for the snap. We we'll have a stoppage of play. Okay, ten minutes left to go here as we're in the second quarter of play. Double reverse coming into the near side. Be number three, Nolan Kistler. He drops the ball down to the ground, loses the shoe as well. It's going to be picked up by Upper Queen Anne. He lost the handle on the ball. Ryan Garretson, number 47, picks it up. UQA line ball. Yeah, it'll put the ball in Gork territory, the 37-yard line, and we have a timeout called. Timeout Gork.
Well, back to action is second quarter here in the 70-pound championship. Gork leads 21-6, but after the turnover, UQA takes over. Cummings. Hands off, first back through. Is Jacob Naylor. He's dropped for a loss of about a half yard. So with the first and 10, right about the 39-yard line. Now it's back to the 40. Cummings again. Over center, man comes in motion. Going to the far side. Ball down on the ground. It's going to be a scramble for it. Looks like Cummings were able to recover. And the Lions, they uh, dodge a bullet there. So lines up over the ball. Be third down and about ten and a half. With the ball sitting just inside the 40 yard line of Gork. He's coming, setting up. Over center. This is a man's in motion. That's Pender. Hands off, back. That's Garrison. Looks to turn the corner and gets tripped up and dropped. Like it was Marcus Abrams from his defensive end position making a tackle. Well, big fourth down here with Upper Queen Anne's trailing 21-6. Cummings. Again over center. No, it's going to be a snap. Back to pass. Throwing over the middle. Nope, it's going to be dropped down. The pass from Jacob Naylor. Trying to get it to uh, Trey Pender. And it falls harmlessly to the ground. So giving up the ball on downs will be Upper Queen Anne. Gork has done very well with running the ball here this afternoon, or they make it this morning. Now it takes over to be first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. And off on a delay. It's Devin Dawkins still up on his feet and gets uh, wrapped up, dropped me a gain of five. Dawkins did a good job uh, cutting back up against the grain. And Gork continues to be on the move. 21-6 our score.
There's a little draw action and drop behind the line. Here's a running back. That was number 28, Brandon Stewart with the, with the carry. Charles Henson with the tackle. For UQA, now it's a third down opportunity for Gork. The sun peeking through the clouds. There's a handoff first back through. Getting wrapped up, no, still up on his feet. Down he goes. Going to be close to a first down, maybe about a yard short. It is once again as Derek Brown with the carry. And that's the half. So 21 6 our score with Gork leading in this 70 pound championship. You're watching the Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships from All In Broadcasting. The Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships. And now it's game time. The Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships are on the air from All In Broadcasting. Getting ready for second half action is Gork leading Upper Queen Anne's 21 to 6. UQA ever to be able to get on the board late in the first half. Getting into position after the turnover. Well, the first quarter, well, the first three times to touched the ball, Gork was able to punch it in. So it'll be once again Gork kicking off. And the kick is away. It's going to be short, taken by one of the upbacks at the 50-yard line. And so right at midfield, that's where UQA will start. So it would be a big confidence boost for this UQA Lions squad if they were able to punch this in on the first possession of the second half. It's coming, setting up over center. And a handoff. Flag goes down right at the snap. Usually indicating some sort of infraction on the line. Jacob Naylor got the handoff, uh, took it about a yard. 
it'd be procedure to call against UQA. But that's not exactly the way they want to start. We can hear that from here that there's not enough man on the line. Again, Cummings. Setting up. Over center, long count. And the handoff's going to go back. It's going to be a face mask call. And I believe that was Charles Henson uh, setting up as a quarterback. Now check that. Alex Ruiz. And the quarterback is going to be a face mask call. the interior linemen they were able to get the penetration that would have been a would have been a big play for Gork but the referees rattle off five yards it end up being a second down and eight with the ball the 48 yard line of Gork and a handoff look at the room on the outside blocks Looks turn a corner, it gets wrapped up and dropped. It'll be a loss of about one. This Trey Pender on the carry. It looked like uh, Terrell Ringold made the tackle in the backfield. Uh, check they get about a yard on the play. No, okay, now they <laughs> now they move the yard marker back about a half yard. So third down and nine. Twenty-one six our score. Gork leads. There's a man coming in motion here. Pitch. Come to the back. Flag goes down again. And down goes Jacob Naylor. Yeah, it's three of the Wildcats able to converge. And again, it's going to be procedure to call. Had a relatively penalty-free first half. A little bit different story here in the second right now. And Right now, one of the UQA coaches are talking it over to the referee emphatically. And apparently not happy with the call. It's going to be fourth down. Well, big play here. And it's about midway through the third quarter. Up with Queen Anne's. They need to convert here. Fourth down. And, oh, they were able to get a bunch of the Gork Wildcat interior linemen to jump off sides, provided that there is no movement. It is off sides against Gork. It will still make it fourth down, but this time fourth and five. Opens up a few more options for Up with Queen Anne's. So fourth down five. Handoff. Pender. 
Hit once, twice, and down he goes. Give up the ball on downs. Will be upper Queen Ann. Well, they had their opportunities there, but weren't able to take advantage of them. Were the Lions? And so it'll be first and ten. Gork from their own 47-yard line here in this 2007 Anne Arundel Youth Football Association championship game. 70 pounders out there in the field at in the midst of the battle right now. Oh, it's first and ten. A little delay action. Up on his feet still. Wrapped up. Dropped down he goes. Number 24, Derek Brown with the carry. Cole Gunther with the initial hit. And there's a man down. And that might be Derek Brown. It was just carrying the ball, so... Now the coaches take a look at him. Robert Bullock was oh, down on the ground, was able to get up on his own own power, jog off the field, so that man's okay. Rough game, this game of football. Well, to give a yard on the play, it's going to be second down and about nine. Three backs in the backfield, ball down on the ground, it's going to be a scramble for it, and... Picking the ball up is Devin Dawkins. But it's going to be a loss of about three. And it brings up third down. There's Derek Brown setting up over center. Got three wide receivers to the far side. Brown on design run. Looks, turns the corner. Gets close to a first down. No, still on his feet. Gets hit once, twice. We'll get about seven yards on the play. Make that eight. Then will be about two yards short of the first down. A little different formation than what we saw in the first half out of Gork. Well, big fourth down. Fourth down and two here. And with a design run. Up on his feet. Turns a corner. Gets enough of the first down and more down to the 35-yard line. Again, Derek Brown. Third straight carry. Twenty-one six our score. The drive stays alive now for Gork. 
It is Devin Dawkins splitting out here to the near side and goes in motion from his wing back position. Down on the ground is the ball. Get a miscue on the snap. That's going to bring up second down. On the second down, little reverse action. Coming into the near side, wrapped up, drop behind the line. Well, again, that's Devin Brown. And nothing doing this time. Here it is, third down nine. Ball down to the ground again. Well, Corey Glick, the quarterback, three miscues on that possession, and once again is fourth down. This time, fourth down and 13. Gork once again challenged here to keep this drive alive. Glick sets up over center. No backs in the backfield. Single man in motion. That man in motion gets the ball. Looks, turns the corner, and only going to get about four yards. Giving up the ball on downs will be Gork. So UQA with another opportunity here. Lions come up over the ball. Cummings. Was their drive stall in their last possession as well. Rolling out and runs right into his running back. Still has a football. He's going to be dropped for a big, big loss. Way back at his 20-yard line. That was actually Charles Henson uh, setting up over center on a design run. Nothing doing there. Going to be second down and a whole bunch. So that's your quarter. 21 to 6, our score. Here in this 2007 Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championship.
So UQA in, in trouble now. Going to be second down, close to 25. Cummings design run, and he gets wrapped up, dropped after gain of about two. Cummings hands off to the first man back and getting maybe a yard on the play. Well, I guess Trey Pender with the carry. And here it is again, fourth down. We're in the final quarter, 21 to 6 is our score. Work leads this one. And so Gork will take over on the Upper Queen Anne forty one yard line. Glick hands off as Brown down the sideline, still on his feet, to the 15 and knocked out of bounds around the 13-yard line. Been a while since we've seen a big run like that out of Gork in this game. And it is Derek Brown with the carry. Play goes about 33 yards. And there's a handoff going over to the right side, down to the three, cutting back up against the grain, still on his feet, lunges in, and no calls like he's down to one yard line. That's number two, Kyle Kidwell. And now the first and goal, Gork. So they come up over the ball. Again, first and goal by the half inch line. There's Robert Bolick. Little misdirection. Brown. Looking for room on the outside. And gets wrapped up down in the one.
And now second down goal. And off Brown lunges in. Now it's going to be third down now. Nice defensive stand being put together here by UQA. Oh, here we go now, third and goal. This direction, Brown. Cuts in, touchdown. Well, for Gork, that could have been the knockout punch. And, of course, number 24, Derek Brown. Carrying most of the load offensively there for Gork. There's Gork's extra point attempt. No backs in the backfield. Man comes in motion. Again, misdirection. Looking for room on the outside and nothing doing. As Kyle Kidwell was brought down by UQA's Jacob Naylor. But scored out 27-6 Gork in this 70-pound championship. Well, certainly still time left in this one, but in the way this game is gone, the Lions need to generate some serious offense and quickly. And the kick is away. Goes short. One of the up backs take it right in the chest. And so to be first and ten, UQA with time running out here on them in the fourth quarter. First and ten of their own 48-yard line. And whistles blow before the snap. Be a timeout call. Timeout Gork. With time running out here in the fourth quarter. 27 to 6 is our score. This is the Andrew Underwood Youth Football Association Championship, 70 pound division. And you're watching it on All In Broadcasting.
Uh, back out again at Carroll Field. It's the home of the Arundel High School Wildcats. The Gork Wildcats here, of course, in control of this one. 27-6. UQA taking over. First and 10 from their own 48. Well, misdirection. Up on his feet, getting wrapped up, dropped after gain of about three will be Jacob Naylor. The Gork defense done a pretty good job of bottling up this Lion offensive attack to the tune of just one touchdown. There's coming, setting up, over center. Two backs behind him. And penetration. Ball down to the ground. It'll be a scramble for it. Looks like the Lions have recovered. But now they're back in the bind again with time running out. Four minutes left in this one, and again, UQA in a bind. It's third down and 12. Well, it's right about the 46-yard line. Cummings backs in the eye. Hands off Naylor, gets wrapped up, dropped, and maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Well, here it is. Game rides right here. Fourth down and 12. A little hesitation after the snap. And your pitters, though, though, Trey Pender, uh, going back as a quarterback, has had a hard time getting a hand on the ball. And uh, that hesitation against this good Gork squad is going to cost you. So Gork takes over. And before that, Gork getting reset, calls a timeout. So with time running out, uh, under four minutes left, 27 to 6 is our score. This is the 70 pound division of the Anne Arundel As Youth Football Association Championship. Here we go. It's back to action. Gork takes over. First and 10 at the UQA 44-yard line. The handoff going up the middle. Nothing doing.
So they get about a half yard on a play, second down. A long nine. Those Glick setting up over center. Backs in the eye, split behind him. It's going to be handoff Brown. Gets wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. He's in trouble. Down he goes. Flag goes down at the end of the play. So after the infraction, the UQA, they declined a penalty. It'll be fourth down and about 12 now. The time running out in the game. And hand up, ball down to the ground. There'll be a scramble for it. And yes, indeed, UQA recovers. And the only question is, can they do something with it? Change the reset and uh, UQA with another chance here to make it a little more respectable. 27 6 to score. It's Alex Ruiz setting up as quarterback. No check. That's going to be coming. He goes down as he couldn't find anybody to hand off to. It's going to be a loss of about three. And that has been the name of the game. The defense here, Gork. Has been all over the Lions. I'm not really sure about the time here. Cummings. Over center, a little miscue with the center, and unfortunately down goes the ball again. And that's your ball game. The 70-pound champions here in the Anne Arundel Youth Football Association. Are uh, the Gork Wildcats 27 to 6 over the Alliance of Upper Queen Anne's? You're watching the Anne Arundel Youth Football Association Championships from All In Broadcasting. 